change of plans we're gonna also do miranda's loyalty mission before the catastrophic suicide mission run miranda's and samara's for miranda i have a special perk called miranda's long walk which makes miranda the specialist and i want her to survive so i can say that with her as a specialist she has voice lines too all right now first before we do miranda's we're gonna do some crew talking and the second loyalty quest I'm gonna do is Samara. Worth a twist? Worth a twist. Shepard, need me for something? Crew talk time. Let's see if there's a new line here or if it's the same one as previously. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team. Don't worry, oh, Commander. That's the same We're one. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors, or the Reapers, or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. Who else? Some Andromeda enemies coming to Earth, huh? What are you implying? You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I played Andromeda two times and I never remember the enemies there. The other robots that I can't remember. I just remember the architect. No, that's the big worms, the big worms architects, right? And I can't, for the life of me, never, even while playing the game, remember the goddamn name of the enemies in Andromeda. Going to win. One way or another, we'll get the job done. I tell you I'm skeptical, but Saren doubted you and it didn't go well for him. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Funny, the Saren line, uh, there's a mod where Garrus gets turned into Saren. That would be funny here. Okay. That's story time with Garrus now. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Mm. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors... We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. I just don't want to lose you, bro. After all, he is one of the few people we did the loyalty mission for. I got so me because, uh, because she's glitched. And I thought I had a mod for her. It's just female shepherd armor, though. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. God. I don't know how long the Turian lifespan is. Not as long as Asari, but I still hope there will be more Garrus in Mass Effect 4. I don't count Andromeda as Mass Effect 4, by the way. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. This. By the way, a mod for Fallout 4 where the main protagonist's voice gets turned into Garrus's voice, which is actually quite a good AI voice acting mod for the AI standards being not that high at the moment. Ah, uh, I wish I could have Garrus's voice as the main character in Andromeda. I mean, everybody wants to play as an alien race in the future Mass Effect games. It would F up big if they don't give you the choice for that. New Game Plus, that's how I would implement it. Maybe if they will not be having human heroes, just let it let us play Alien Races New Game Plus at least. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? 
It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Oh. Oh. That's Thanks for the time, Garrus. I'll see you later. That's sure. all the Garrus voice lines. Oh, such a cool character. Very well done. I feel like they did a little bit too less of Garrus. Could always be more Garrus in Mass Effect. It's on spin off show, Disney Plus. Buy it. <laughs> uh, I would watch it. Still, a Mass Effect show that might be in the works in the future, TV show or movie. Ah, oh, God, and I hope they at least cast the voice actors of Garrus and Liara for that show. I mean, Miranda would also be an obvious choice. I don't think the actress is too old for the job yet. I don't know. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Oh no. Favor for favor, right? Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. That sounds a little bit premature. Sure. Uh, How did your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. I'm gonna stay with this haircut for the rest of the game and I've already pre-modded a little bit of Mass Effect 3 but that's gonna take a while the loyalty missions after the suicide mission won't break why only no that so you think your father has tracked her down precisely commander my sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life but I'm out of options he's too close I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. There's a mod for Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect 2 to remod her sister to look more like her. I've downloaded it for Mass Effect 3 but not for 2 because the Mass Effect 2 mod doesn't look as good. It also looks like trash. So for Mass Effect 3, we're gonna have our sister modded to be closer looking to Miranda. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Good, but there will be more small talk in a second. A second. I started a playlist. I started a playlist. So we have ship music, Andromeda music. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. Yes, boss. We, okay, I'll I can't let you talk know, to her. Of course, Commander. Oh, I can't talk to her about personal stuff yet. Who else is on this deck? Samara. Samara is on here. Everybody has problems. 
Okay, that's why I'm here. You, why can't I have you as a squad mate? There you are. Tell me. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I know why we had to destroy Keiji's Grey Box, but it doesn't make it any easier. I hate this dialogue form. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. You don't got that steer from me, girl. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. You have books here. Don't laugh. I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Is that me? I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. Keiji dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. That's such an amateur picture. I mean, it's nice, it's nice looking. I mean, it's nice looking. What are you? Are you a massage chair? Looks like one with LED lights. What are you? No, don't. Why would you want that? Yeah. Let's keep it open for her. That would piss me off. Life support. Fane in here. What's up, boy? No more for you. No good ones exist and we already had you shirtless. I'm gonna turn the music a little bit more silent. Only my voice makes the music more silent because of sidechain compression. Okay. Shepard. I mentioned when we met on Ilium that I was dying. It's called Keprel's Syndrome. It's not communicable, but I have less than a year to live. <laughs> what the hell is that option? Oh. Is that what you called me here for? I wasn't worried about it. No. But as I face the end of my body's time here, I find myself dwelling on my mistakes. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays... Music, old, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. Hi, father. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads, tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night, no final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. There's one mod that I've seen that replaces Kane with Fane in Mass Effect 3. A uh, body mesh. So the body gets replaced with that of Fane, but I don't think the boys but I don't have Caden alive, so I, yeah, can't do that. I, I downloaded the Ashley monster. All right, you spawn. Organic species tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been complications. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. What? You'll have to explain that one to me. 
disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. Just give it to me straight. I'm not interested in your philosophical BS. He has gone to the Citadel and has gained a job as a hitman. I could discover no more. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea vines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. Slide. You're not such a cool. Slide. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be That's meditating until you need me. Not what I wanted to say. No, I wanted to say. Okay, Zamora. The next right crew quarters. Uh, we don't talk to common people on our ship. Only worthy warriors. Worthy warriors only. Let's go. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. That armor also exists in more grey, but it doesn't look as cool, so I'm just gonna stick with this one and have her loyalty armor be black. But that's one loyalty mission we're gonna do before... Nah, actually after the Reaper IFF. Oh, before the Reaper IFF, I will do a big, quick, hard save. Big, quick, hard save. And that's the save we're gonna reload after the suicide mission ends the first one, the traumatic bad one. It's alright. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Damn, am I sexy. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. That is her face detailed. Ah, oh, compared to a uh, sorry in Mass Effect Andromeda. Damn, it's a worldly difference to a uh, sorry in Mass Effect Andromeda look all the same and very bad. And here we can see so much detail. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. God, that was a mere Andromeda, Andromeda, so rushed. Especially the characters look so bad, except for the new alien race Charles is a part of. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life. And the reason I became a Justicar. 400 goddamn years. That seems unreasonable long. 400 years. Damn. 
Tell me about her. She is an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. That doesn't sound tight. And hot. Doesn't sound hot. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. But they are more than furry, right? Isn't that how benches got created in Mass Effect 3? I might be wrong with that. Maybe it was just a sorry in general. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I mean, four times the charm, right? Go then, go. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault. And my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much. And then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Music stopped. Music is going again. That must have been hard. Rami Reva, nope. Not, not her. I like her. We nice. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me. And I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Yeah, that doesn't sound nice. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. I still don't understand how they messed up in Mass Effect Andromeda, the Asari race. 
you know they are the fan favorite alien race from this game and somehow they all butchered the locks of them and they all look the same okay let's go downstairs my food is already waiting so we'll record here and there and video edit it hot what's this oh i know what this is this is what we're gonna fight the big got the my ball you Get some talking time next. Skip. Crew talks. Crew talks. I already asked him about his helmet. If you missed it, I'm gonna still ask him about everything in here too. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Wait. Surveillance camera here? Who are you? Got them creeping on. Is it Miranda, Said? Is it Samara? Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. That's just an Avenger. That's a cool ship. And a story. Oh yeah. That's a model of the Varrican. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success. But we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Crew difference and goddamn Andromeda in this game. Everybody is a badass. Everybody is a badass here. Everybody even has vocal fry. Oh, yeah. Grunt, Jack, and Tali. Tali is Sora. Everybody's a goddamn badass on this mission. And Andromeda, everybody is pretty much a comedian. That's the crew difference. That's often something they do nowadays, they put the Marvel charm in everything and it doesn't quite work as well with every character. Shepard, I need something to talk to you. I don't know. I don't have a lot of time right now. Can we do this later? That is your decision. But don't wait too long, Shepard. I feel dangerous. Uh-huh. Okay, let's talk now then, I guess. Shepard, I need... I'm listening. Some... What's the issue? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something. With my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? 
I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. When we're moving, fighting, there's no problem. But here, my blood makes noise. It's screaming. I've got no past to lead me. The tank gave nothing about itching plates and losing control. You just bored, man. The video games. Got a boxing bag. Do workouts. Report to the doctor. Uh, really? I want you in the infirmary. I can't have some Krogan disease running rampant. Your <laughs> doctors stupid. only see victims of Krogan. My kind do not share with aliens. Not after the genophage. We won't find someone who's seen this. A Krogan my age would still be on the homeworld to Chunka. Oh. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. At all. Have time now, Shepard. I want, I need to deal with this. We just talked about it. Oh, okay. Worthless. Worthless, where's Tali? I haven't even talked to one of those dudes yet. Oh well. Shepard, I've got a problem and I may need your help. But I need to ask you something first. I need to know if I can trust you. Some of this might involve fleet security. Cerberus cannot be involved. Don't you worry, we'll bring Jacob and Legion for this. Maybe Miranda too. That won't work. I'll make sure of it, I mean. You have my word. If necessary, I'll contact the elusive man to make sure he stays out. Don't bother. He just lied to you. Hearing it from you is enough. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. I will bring Jacob and Legion, by the way. <laughs> Non-negotiable. Oh, uh, I couldn't think of better people. Maybe the Krogan. But I won't bring him for anything, I believe. No, no, no. You're crazy. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Yeah, isn't that bad seemingly? Doesn't sound that bad. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Oof, they got scammed. They got scammed. Space scamming is real and not a funny subject. What happened to her? Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. I mean, we have a suicide run for you, don't you worry. I'm covered. Every option. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. 
No, I saw. Doesn't seem for me personally, I'm not a family man. For not as bad of a choice. So no prison and no death penalty? Yeah. We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How can you not afford enough resources for execution? Don't you need just one execution now? Dump the board into empty space. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. Ah, oh, help. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. I'm gonna send it right to the elusive man. Planning for another attack. Okay, let's play the game. Does check wear armor or does she have hair? I don't remember which I put her in. Uh, it's hair. That's hair. Oh, she's probably mad at me too. Tight little group you got here. And a pretty nice ship. You'd be rich if you took to piracy, but you wouldn't. I can't figure you, Shepard. Doesn't matter. I've got to talk to you about something. That, that's the worst armor I've ever seen in video gaming. The worst. Tattoos are not armor. I'm listening. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. What the hell is going on? You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? We've got work to do. Get to the point. I work for you, and you work for Cerberus. They're in my face all the time. This is gonna make me crazy. Crazier. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. Sounds reasonable. Reasonable. Overcoming pain. It's better. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. I was just looking at the tattoos and self listening. Still uh, look like prison tattoos. Arkley. Ah, yeah, that's not a good story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. 
That's funny, I never gave her those files actually. Never gave her those files. Attacking our allies is gonna derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Well, she didn't do that before, and she was in prison. Jack, you can't hang on to this. It's messing you up. Yeah, great advice, but I've been messed up for years. No thanks to them. The only way I put that place behind me is to watch it burn. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. I need it. I want it done. God. So I need to put her in armor. That outfit. It's not even a bra. It's not even a bikini. It's just, you know, strings. Combat deck. That's the last part of crew talk. Crew talk. Okay. She team status. Yeah, wrong armor. And yeah, now she will be in full body armor. Doesn't show here. Nothing for him. Nothing for him. Okay, I'll talk to Jacob already. Let's see if he has something new. Before we can do one loyalty mission. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Uh, I talked to him about that before. Did I talk about anything I'm else? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Ooh. <laughs> Much in your comfy zone. Okay. More than... Still need to get to Chuchanka, Shepard. My students oh, yeah. are being held by Bloodpack. I'll talk yep. to you later, Morden. We'll be yes. here if you need me. Yes, we can. Well, I just pressed X. Shouldn't have done that. X for everything. That's not even X. It is X on my PlayStation. No Hold messages on. for you, Commander. Okay, Liara doesn't say a word. Choker. Uh, she never talked to Choker here before. Might be weird. Um. No. No. Where's the mass relay here? Ilium, where I've been to Ilium so goddamn many times. Is that Ilium here? Yes. We also need to do the DLCs. Many, many squad mates. Help me around. Uh, Lance. Ah. Uh, what's the to bring that looks like trash I oh, hate uh, yes perfect uh, perfect yep perfect armor doesn't exo does exist I need to bring Miranda hmm Jacob Good. Skip. My ambience is still going. Oh god damn. Uh, there's something messed up with me that I enjoy this. God, I don't wanna hear about Blasto one more time. No, you don't understand. Pardon me, I'm on a call. whether the criminal scum considers itself How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? Prefabs. I don't know where to go here, probably to the taxi stand, isn't it? The taxi stand. This is the taxi stand. Grant Miranda, speak to Lantea. Crescent Nebula. Eternity launch. Eternity is over here. Eternity. I need minimal heat increase. God, I've been here way too often. I hope that's the last quest here. Can't see this place no more. Oh. 
Come on, let me in. Let me through. I kick my way in. Eternity launch. Is that the bartender? Who that? Fuck the Jacob. The Asari are how advanced? And this is what they do with it? Money is still power. Same old, same old. We'd do the same if we could. We have boss everywhere. Everywhere. Welcome back, babe. Can what? I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. What? Just looking around. Pleasure as always. Uh, no thanks. Only if it would so be then... sex. On the bar. Because that's apparently what we do here. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana alright? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. Ah, oh, still my bins in the background. It's... Would have been 13 more seconds and I'm getting out of the game to stop it. 13 more seconds, I could have just ignored it. We're altering the plan. Making changes now could be dangerous. Are you sure you can trust Niket? Absolutely. He's one of my oldest friends. I trust him with Ariana. Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. Sure. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. Let's go. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. And... Okay, check up now. Could have had someone badass with us, but it sounds cool. Like Garrus. Oh, I thought about taking Tali with me. Morden doesn't have a goddamn mod. Check up. Goddamn. Check. Perfect. Anyways, we have someone badass now. In body armor. God, thanks. Sadly, no hair with body armor. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Dream team of Jack and Miranda. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. They don't. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! Nice landing, Shepard. I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? 
You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. Oh. I'm giving you one chance to leave. That's more than most get. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want... <clears throat> Run. We've been oh. spotted. Do we? Let's pull him here. Oh, that's shockwave and throw him with. This whoa. will put them down. Oh yeah, shields, damn it. Badly calculated. My shields are down! Can I? Friendly fire! What? <clears throat> You're crazy. Pull. I'll throw pull. you like a toy! Like a toy. Damn it! Did I knock her out with a wall? Watch the fire! <clears throat> Shut up, those fools. Okay, we're clear. I just hope there's nothing to loot here that I'm gonna miss. Okay. Ah. Uh. Randa's baby sis. Come on, we need to get to Niket. I'm sprinting. What are you doing? Shockwave. Destroy you. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, that's satisfying. Damn. I never blade to check as a side character. Mostly because <laughs> I hate your outfit and attitude. Shockwave is actually good in this game. That wasn't good in other games, I believe. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way. But you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. I don't know, girl. I just heard uh, Jack's backstory and I feel like you had it pretty nice. Ah, uh, why did you take her? We had that already. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Oh, poor Jack needs to listen to Miranda whine while... Well, her backstory is a pretty little bit more disgusting. God, those eyes are red. Love it. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. I hope your friend can be trusted. 
Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Well, shouldn't have friends on time go. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Right. Right. He probably doesn't know about friends, so... Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. She weren't actually Eclipse armor. That's actually... Since we've talked to people with yellow armor... A lot. Right here, right now. They're on now. the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. It does seem like that is actually clips on uh, to me. To me. No? Blue on top. There we go. And you. Nice one. Let's look at the armor the next time. I wish I could shoulder switch. It'd be a curb. Oh, that's a perfect warp. Singularity, I mean. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, throw it in there. Everything. I'll destroy you. Damn it. Anybody ready? No? Watch for the drone! Shock <clears throat> warp. I'll destroy you. Oh shields be gone. Right hand advantage. And one warp. That doesn't hit. Keep the fish back. The cat is nearing the transport terminal. Which one? Which one? Which bitch? I got two with me. Doesn't look like loot here. That kid's everywhere. Now what's this? So that's the goods. That's all I need. Enemies. No shit. I can take you all. Impact imminent. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> No shields. I don't think that will hit. Oh, it did hit. Here we go. Wait. What are you? Reddits. Come here. I don't care how many mechs you lose. Just stall them, damn it. Come on, let's go. Did exactly what I wanted. Oh yeah, there we go. Destroy you. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's see if they <laughs> uh, Let's see if they <sighs> Okay, wolf singularity. Oh he died. Asshole. Is there someone here? Yes. Everything for you. Everything for you. I feel like one thing missed. Just like my shots missed. Ah, damn you. Is there someone here? Oh. Damn it. And the shields got up too in time. Here. Watch for the drone. <coughs> Still alive. Is alive. Here we go. Everything. Anybody? Can anybody hit her, please? <coughs> Perfect timing, girl. Perfect timing. Come in handy. Magic Divert everyone except my guard from the cat. I'll handle him and the kid personally. There gotta be something back here. Yeah. I'm not letting her get Oriana. Oh, that's the official way. 
Damn it. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Watch out! I could have sworn there was a door back there. I'll check that. There is. Is the loot in here? Yes. Um in the mill. Oh no, hoo -hoo. Yeah. Just credits. I mean, I don't think I need credits anymore. I feel like I have bought. Oh, you didn't fool at me. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> well, was that me? I don't know if that was me. Was my sword ruffled there? Yeah. I wanted to switch it up too with the ah damn it, that's not a sprint button. The ah, collector rifle. There are enemies here. They've seen us. All the time I've been shooting quite a lot, he should have seen us. I need support. Enemy I feel like the drone just fall fold fall to its death. God, this gun actually feels good. Like something I would play in a PvP game. What? That pissed me off that much. Is that you? Is that you, Miranda? No, you don't walk into my shots, girl. Damn it! You walk him. You walk him. Hey, she pulled three people. Most of them are dead, but still. No, my ammo. Damn it. I need support. Yes, nice. We can cut down through the cargo line. I'll look for loot. I'll look for loot. Is that the way out? No, that's the loot. Good. Probably all the loot dead. I'll just go look into. Oh, there's some more. Zero? Element zero, maybe? Nice. Ah, okay. There might be one more room with loot, but um. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding them. Lockdown. <laughs> Damn it! <coughs> oh no! Weakening their integrity. Integrity. Yes. I need myself some white. Got that down. one. Nothing can stop me. Lips forever. Why won't be killed? I need myself some wide and goddamn singularity. I just couldn't think right. Because of all that shooting that we need to do here. Someone still has shields? Yes, you. Under heavy fire! Huh? Where's, where's my shockwave? Throw it. Throw it! He's camping up there. One shot, all we need. Oh no, maybe not. We need a medic! Nothing can stop me! <laughs> oh. You shot gun him off too. He'll switch the family over to our transport. Nikat. But that can't be right. 
You feel so betrayed. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Oh. Friend zone, go. I know that option or uh, that explanation ain't in the game. But it's definitely friend zone stuff. Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. Mm. The message on the radio seemed pretty clear. He wouldn't betray me. We'll be at the transport shuttle in a moment and we'll clear this up. Uh-huh. Oh. Listen to me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Oh, boy. Miri. This should be fun. Oof. Niket, you sold me out. Kill him. Do it now. With a floating gun. Jack looks badass in body armor. I don't know. That's something they should have given her to make him look more badass and goofy. Not many civilians around. We can end this here and now. Not before I get some answers. Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't yeah. saving her. You were getting back at your father. Yeah. That's actually I agree with I get. Oh, that's actually... That seems very reasonable from him. Oh, no. I'm on the wrong side here. Jack, your opinion, please. She probably could be on the cat's side, too. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. Then you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Mm. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? I like her. Are we still recruiting? Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, that's actually... Uh. Yourself, especially because I put her in body armor, both of them. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> God, I need to clip this. Oh, I'm gonna make a cut right here to remember. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. 
Doesn't that tell you what he really is? I want to hear that line again. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. I'm not but stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? I like her. Are we still recruiting? <laughs> uh, so many layers to this. Oh, first, first thing that she's rescuing the child. Oh, to rub it in Miranda's face because she said she was rescuing her. Oh, God, check. It was perfectly. Jacob, bro, wouldn't have anything cool to say here. Okay. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. Ooh. Figuratively speaking. I was tired of talking anyway. So was I. <laughs> oh god. I didn't remember this being bad as I think she. Funny! He probably can't get that person. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Like a toy! just flew. It wasn't the. It wasn't what I thought. I thought the person just flew. Okay, take her out, team. Down. Wrong timing. Shit, indeed. Um. Taking damage. Oh. Oh yeah, both of them are down. <coughs> Damn it! Oh. Get the cover. What? Damn it, team! Damn it, team! Oh, no, 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 no! Wrong! No, no! He's already dead! Already dead! Watch the landing! <clears throat> Where's the girl? New right victims. next to me! Right next to me! Can he? <clears throat> Please! Target her! Can you please target her? Holy hell! Get ready to burn. Finally! I'll kill you all! Your body will crumble! Get her! Get her good! Firing now! Watch the fire! Where's the enemies? Right here. Hey, Garrus is here. Oh boy. Okay, teamwork team. Ah, they can't. God damn. Get her. No, no, still not. Watch your fire! Watch for the draw to the right. That. Now, before their shields are cover. Yeah. We'll put them Wait, down. Whoa. Damn you! <clears throat> Too many crates. Too much fire. Damn! Got something wrong with the. <clears throat> Got that bow I am here. There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. There's my Medichill replacement. Uh, oh my god, good. Renegade points, how oh I got enough of those? For not stopping her killing the dude. Uh. Please, we gotta rescue the girl from a life of wealth and rich and fame. Ah, oh, wealth and riches. 
I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. Aww. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why did he make me kill him? He could have run. He could have lied about having the data stored somewhere. But he just stood there. The only loose end. He knew what I'd have to do. Maybe some part of him regretted what he did, and he wanted to atone somehow. You atone by fixing your mistakes, not by committing suicide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, right, devil suicide. Okay. Oh. oh, don't blame yourself. You did what you had to do, Miranda. You're not responsible for his death. Uh huh. Of course I am. But it's not my fault. It's not even the cats, really. My father takes the blame for all of this. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted, but there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. I didn't know you were such a hypocrite. My father's is a fault. Oh, oh. Jesus, that's the first time I actually not, I'm not on her side. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No, I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or oh, you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. When I killed that uh, Asari too that helped us? You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. God. Such a Deanage girl. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, <laughs> you're right. Uh, I still have something. Thank you. Oh, uh, I feel bad. <laughs> this feels wrong somehow. Uh. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Quick, let's introduce Jack. No? Maybe Garrus. Come on, we should go. Oh! No. Yeah, I mean, yes, let's go. I don't want to talk. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Or maybe that wasn't what she wanted. Oh, Those tears look fake. Oh, that would have taken too long. Oh. Oh, we're here. Why are we here? Oh. You deserve Why somebody who respects are you. we here? Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. Do we have Vulnerable. some worse line for Jack here before we leave this place for good? The scandal rock story of Nasana Dantius has come to a tragic end as the businesswoman I'm was sure killed. Jack would love the servant part no of this scare. Ilium world. Flashier. <laughs> I want something that says. I own this room. Oh wait, I can I buy more here? Tech damage. Files. Oh, yes please. Crystal. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look good. Maybe chill uh, just because of the money. There we go. That's good for at least... I don't know what the ability is called. Oh no. There we go. The shield go away ability. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be right. It's a token for my bond mate. I don't care. This is recorded right before the day before comes out. That's gonna be something I'm gonna look into right now to see if I can download and play it. 
Then I need to video edit this hard. Did I ever see that? And exit, not entrance. Okay, let's talk to Miranda. Oh. And now we have no music again. Lovely. Don't need it. Oh, actually, I want music in my background. Where was it? Well, that's in fact, Andromeda destroyed music. Boom, boom, boom. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket, I'm glad I got to take him out myself. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she'll never know me. Which is for the best. No chance of me putting her in danger. You know where she is. You can get in touch if you change your mind. It would be a mistake. I'd be risking her safety for my own selfish reasons. No better than my father. It was never a temptation until I saw her. I'll just have to keep my distance. What's your impression of her? Do you think she's happy? I don't know. Even if I talked with her, I doubt I'd know. I'm too close to her. She's genetically identical to me. She is me for all intents and purposes. I can't look at her life and judge it. I just hope hers is better than mine was. Oh. I, by the way, didn't get the mod to restore her butt camera angles because I have her in body armor all the time anyways. She didn't smile, she cried, Shepard. You know the difference. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. Ooh. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Okay. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna go upstairs. Switch the outfit of her. Gonna go back. And talk to her again. Which makes no sense. But I... No messages for you, Commander. Forgot about... Oh, loyal. I don't know what her other ability was. That's beefy looking. That's the normal one, which is black when I have it. And that's a loyalty outfit. I didn't see beforehand if that switches or is that's gonna stay the same now. I didn't see that beforehand. That might just stay the same because the white one switches in the black one thanks to her hair mod. And this might just be the one that stays the same. And no, it's also black. No, it's... What can I do for you? Does it change? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. I'm gonna keep that for in the meantime. Let me show Talix don't need it. Don't need it. I'm upgrades. I have to cool down. Hell yeah. Commander. Anything else? What can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take Did a look. That outfit change? Oh, I don't know. Weapon, shotgun, sniper, submachine gun. Commander. What can I do Damn for it. you? I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Of course. Okay. Okay. This will be, I guess, my heart safe spot. Next Reaper FF. And then Samara's loyalty quest. And then the suicide mission, part three. And from here on out, this is exactly the safe I'm gonna reload after the suicide mission. Save 20 or save 21, yet. Yet. Good, 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 
recording software says no.